Hello, in this video we are going to go over some Fibonacci tools for the TradingView online trading platform. Uh, specifically, we are going to look over the Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extensions that are most commonly used here at Simpler Trading. So in the TradingView platform, you will see a little box right here on the left hand side. This is going to be where you can access all of your charting tools. Now, since this is just focusing on Fibonacci retracements and extensions, we're going to go ahead and ignore everything except this little guy right here. So it is going to be the third icon down. And by default, it looks like a little pitchfork here. I've already been playing with some of the other stuff so this is how it'll look normally but instead of the pitchfork we want to change that to another tool so you can see when I hover over it with my mouse there's a little right arrow if you click on that that's gonna bring up the menu with all of the available tools we are only going to care about these two right here we have fib retracement tool which is the two-pointed tool and then we have trend based fib extension which is the three-pointed Fibonacci tool so first let's go ahead and click on fib retracement now this isn't going to be a tutorial that tells you where to draw the lines Danielle is going to go over that in detail in the foundation service but this will tell you how to select the tool and draw it and then select and edit the coefficients you would like to display so once you have that tool picked you will pick whatever high or low swing you would like to make and then I'm just going to turn this back to default for a second here so you can see exactly how this looks so just by drawing between two points it'll draw you all of the Fibonacci ratios in between it'll also draw you extensions on top of that so we don't want to use just the defaults so we're going to right click on one of these circles here that either get drawn on the top or the bottom and then we're going to choose format and I'll show you how to save that template here as well so the only levels that we are particularly concerned about are going to be the 1618 and 1272 you can use more if you'd like but if you just use those two levels you're going to see uh, the exact same data that say Carolyn, Danielle, Allison uh, what they use so I want to select those and then deselect everything else on top of that by default TradingView shades in the areas between the extensions it's a personal preference if you like it you can leave it on I don't so I would take that off and then from there you go down to template at the bottom click save as and give it a name the name I like to give mine is just fib retracement so now if we go in choose the fib retracement and draw it again by default it is just going to show these levels and one other thing you might like to do is extend those lines to the right especially if you're drawing it from previous swings in the past it's nice to have those lines extended so that just about covers everything that we wanted to touch on for the retracement tool now I will right click and remove and let's take a look at the extensions so if we go right down to trend based fib extension this is also known as symmetry is how you'll hear us refer to this most often so here what you want to do is once again pick two points say a swing high to low but then you want to go draw that from another high and that once again let me set this back to default 
So here's what it's going to look like normally. I'll show you how to get rid of all the extraneous stuff again. We'll once again right click on the circle, click format. When we're using this for symmetry, we really only care about this guy right here, just the 100%. So we can go ahead and uncheck all these other guys. Just use that 1%. And even though there's only one and it doesn't shade it, it's just a habit. I like to uncheck that background. And then just like we did before, I want to extend that line forward. Once we have that, we'll go ahead and save this. And I'll call this Fib Extensions. You can even call it like Symmetry. And then save. And now... If I were to draw another one, it will have that setting saved and defaulted for me. It'll just show me the 100% level and nothing else, which is exactly how we want to use it, with lines extending to the right. So I hope that helps. So I certainly hope that helps. If you do have any other questions, if you just log in to simplertrading.com and click on Foundation in your dashboard, you will find my Simpler Tech segment, and there's a link right there for you to submit any questions you may have. So I look forward to helping out in the future, and let me know if there's anything I can do to help. We'll talk soon.